friends, it's Tracy from Nova Scotia Living and it's Monday morning. Hip hip hooray. I really love Mondays. <laughs> I know not everybody does, but I do. School's back in. The kids have all left. Oh, and I'm just making myself a coffee. I have to add more water to my coffee maker, but yeah, it's 8.07 and it is a rainy, rainy, rainy day out there. Really rainy, but that's okay. The worms will love it. The birds will love it. The plants and trees and grass will love it, so it's all good. Anyways, um, yeah, I was up really early, but I didn't have to pack lunches. If you watched my video yesterday, I packed lunches last night, so that was a big thing for me. Um, I'm just going to be hanging around the house today. I was, I'm hoping to receive an Amazon package early in the day, but oftentimes when it comes, it's like late in the afternoon. I'm waiting for like a meal plan cookbook kind of thing so I can make a grocery list and go to town and get stuff that would have been ideal if the book arrived right now with my coffee so I could look at it and we could take a trip to town but that's probably not going to happen and uh, yeah Mace is still sleeping so I'm going to enjoy my coffee I emptied the dishwasher I'm going to throw a load of laundry in and uh, yeah then I do have a box I want to open and show you what's in it. I don't really know what's in it, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll take a gander together. So, all right. I hope you have a cup of coffee with you, or whatever it is, uh, whatever time of day you're watching this. But I'll be back in a little while. All right, guys. Well, it's only eight thirty-seven. I had my coffee. Mace is still sleeping. My teenager's home today, but um, and he's still sleeping. But I was just talking to my daughter, <clears throat> Evie's mummy, and she's still not feeling well. So I might pop over there later on and help her out a bit. I had Evie last night, if you didn't watch. I just had him for a few hours. This is, you know that sauce I use for my ribs, Diana's chicken and rib sauce? This is Diana's marinade. We don't always marinate steak, but um, we bought this oh, a while ago. I bought a whole bunch of it. It was on sale, like really cheap. I think this is the last two bottles. So, uh, my husband bought two packages of this uh, boneless sirloin tip marinating steak barbecue BBSB size. I don't know. But there's two. This package was $10.05. The other package is $8.91. So, yeah. I'm just going to Oh gosh. Yeah. We haven't had marinated steak in a long time, so but I, I think I remember liking this, so I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna let us marinate all day. Like I'm not going to uh start cooking this. Usually we barbecue it, but I don't know what it's gonna be like. Yet. Either way, I'm not going to start actually cooking this till around 4 o'clock, so it's going to marinate all day. I just poke holes in it. You can make a marinade out of just about anything. Italian dressing, you know, spices and oil, a smidge of vinegar. But this keeps it easy. You can even buy, I think I have some up in the cupboard, but I've never used them. Um, like the powdered marinated mixes, you mix it with water or whatever it says on the package. I don't know what it says. Which are probably really good. I just never used them. I'm going to do a little bit of holes on both sides. No, anyways, I might pop over to my daughter's. Um, and help out a little bit there. We'll see. I don't know if her bow's going to be in from fishing. I know I, I put a little note. That's a big piece of... Well, I'm just going to leave it for now. This is thick. This is really thick. Um, I put a little blurb on my video last night that my daughter's boyfriend or beau or whatever, he's a fisherman. And I it just made me realize some of you guys might not understand when I say fisherman. He's not just out leisurely going fishing. He's a fisherman. And he goes out on a fishing boat and catches fish and scallops and lobsters or whatever the heck that they're fishing. Um, and they can be gone for days, even sometimes weeks at a time. It depends on the season and what they're doing. So 
When I say he's gone fishing, that's what I mean. <clears throat> it's not the lighthearted, laid back, you know, sitting on the dock or in a canoe or anything. Fishing. That's not what I'm talking about. Anyways. Yes, this book, I forget what the book was that I ordered from Amazon, and I know there's a ton of videos on people. It, it touches on that keto diet. So I was trying to find one that could be incorporated into my family. Um, but for now, I want to start cooking some meals for myself. I might need two of these trays. I thought I'd be able to do it all in one. We'll see. So when that comes, I'll, uh, it's like for, it's not keto for dummies, but it's, you know, beginner guide. And I just want to find some recipes that I could incorporate into my family. But for me, I'm going to start learning how to do it myself first. And it's true. Like, I'm not going to be a hardcore fitness fanatic. I'm never going to be 120 pounds. You know, believe it or not, I used to be <laughs> when I was <laughs> a lot younger, 20 years ago. But I'm in a lot of discomfort most of the time, and I don't really voice it, but I am. And I'm just trying to find ways to help myself from the inside out. I'm happy with who I am. I'm never going to wear a bikini, but I don't really care. I'm not... Uh, I'm not striving for that, but I just want to be healthy as I pour marinade on a bunch of red meat. <laughs> oh, Tracy. I'm going to use this whole thing and I'm just going to cover it and stick it in the fridge. And that'll be in the fridge for about eight hours. I could have did this last night before I went to bed, but whatever. Get all those spices out of there. See those spices plop out? There we go. Make sure it's all covered. There. And I've got a nice little empty spot in my fridge. It'll be covered, and we won't see these bad boys until supper time, or just about supper time, so I'll be back! Maze likes doing his mud puddling. Let's get in the van, bub. Alright, guys. I have Maze with me. Let's see what time it is. It's 10 to 10. I actually snuck back up in bed. He was in my bed, and uh, <coughs> tried to wiggle in there and have a little cat nap, but it only lasted about 10 minutes, and then he woke up, but... Oh well. And then we just had a cuddle. Oh, Came down breakfast. and I was going to get him breakfast here. I said, well, let's go to town because we're going over to Medea's anyways. I'm going to help her out and we'll get a little bite while we go into town. So that's what we're doing. But yeah, it's raining. Cats and dogs. That's okay. That's what we need. It's what we need. I know this time of year in spring, that's when there's a lot of forest fires and things like that. As the snow goes away, things dry out, and anything that's dried out over the winter, you know, like, and being in rural Nova Scotia, we get wicked forest fires sometimes. And thank goodness for all our volunteer firefighters because they're jumping sometimes. Jumping. Anyways, I'll check back in a bit. All right, we're at the superstore. We're going to have to run between the raindrops, Maze. You think we can do it? You think we can do it? You what? Yeah, you're coming into the store. Can't leave you here. No way, Jose. All right, we're just at McDonald's. My daughter wanted some pancakes, and they have a pancake thing here, so I'd rather do that than go there and make pancakes because I'm terrible at making pancakes. So, yeah, and I'm just getting Maze his little bit of breakfast here. And we're off to her house. All right, we're at my daughter's. Mays just ate his stuff, and she had her pancakes, and came here. Her dishes are all done, so I'm just hanging out. But look at her little gecko. He changes colors and stuff all of a sudden. So I'm there. 
He's so cute. But yeah, she did all her stuff, so yeah, chandelier in here. And here's one of her dragons. Where is oh yeah, he has his tails cut off at the bottom. I think he he was a rescue one or she was a rescue one. There's no feet in here, you never see him, a great big snake. And another dragon. Oh, this one's nice. Can I see it? Yeah, she's awake too. My she's looking at you, Mace. My secret back Daddy's chair. That's her chair, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Evan's just getting a new bum over here. Look at this and there's another dragon over here, too. But, yeah. And here's the other one. It's sleeping. Yeah, it's sleeping. It doesn't wake up someday. Yeah. Okay. Oh, best buds. <laughs> he loves you, Maze. You love him. Uh huh. Show everybody what your shirt says. What's it say? It says awesome. He has Superman sleeper on. Yeah. I'm just going to attempt to put a French braid in uh, my daughter's hair. So we'll see. Okay. It's done. It's hard to see. I'll put a picture in, but it's as good as it's going to get. Well, I'm here with the baby boys. His mama's running to town to get a few things. He's just having his yogurt tube. Say hi, Emmy. Superman. I'm going to try and open this little dancer over there. I haven't ever seen him in it. We're going to give it a whirl, aren't we, baby? Let's see if we can get you in this thing. It looks pretty fancy to me. Doesn't it, mean? It looks like it's all decked out. I think his grandpa uh, Dave got it for him. It looks like a spaceship. go. That looks pretty cool. Now, no, the kids don't always sit in front of the TV all day. I know oftentimes that's where you guys see them, but it's usually when I'm running around trying to do something. All right, guys, it's 1.34. I'm finally home. It's been a long day, but I had a nice visit over to Medea's and everything with Evie and Mays and anyways I'll just show you what I got at the store I got three loaves of bread I don't often buy the bread but it was marked down to a dollar so what I plan on doing is making a bunch of wow butter which is like peanut butter only it's not peanuts because kids can't have peanuts in school uh, like peanut butter and jam sandwiches only with wow butter instead of peanut butter and I see a lot of people on YouTube do it I first remember seeing it Jay Morell doing it on her channel and I'm going to try it because it will save making lunches or at lunchtime to pack lunches or at lunchtime to just throw it, take it into the freezer and it's done. So I'm going to try that. I got two bags of winter frozen vegetables, broccoli and cauliflower. I've never seen this before. Diced onions. Maybe I've just never looked, but I've seen them. They're on sale. And yeah, I buy fresh onions all the time, but this would be easy to throw into a casserole or something like that. I got a thing of whole leaf spinach, a thing of celery that was marked down, 50% off. I bought some bags of milk. I know some people, I, I, I don't think you can buy bags of milk in the States, can you, my friends from the States? But here you can. I don't generally do. I, I buy the big jugs. But what you do is buy one of those special little pitchers. You can buy them at the dollar store or anywhere but to put these bags in. I'm not going to do that. There's three bags in here. When I want to use a bag, I'm going to take a bag out and dump it in a like a quart or two quart mason jars. <laughs> yes, I'm not going to buy one of those pitchers because I don't generally buy this. But it was marked down 50% off. It's best before May 7th, so I still have like a week 
to use this. So perfect, and it's organic. I bought a thing of butter. I often buy margarine, but with my new eating, I'm supposed to eat real good fats instead of not so good fats. So I bought that. I bought some coconut cooking spray um, to try that. I bought some flax seeds. I know I have some here, but I use it in baking anyways, um, and smoothies and stuff, whole, raw whole flax seeds. I got raw sunflower seeds. It's good for salads or just a handful of seeds if you, you're hungry. I know this. I still do this. I bought four avocados, a tub of coconut oil. I used to use this as baby massage um, stuff when my babies were little, but I'm going to use this for cooking. And I bought real mayonnaise instead of like the salad dressing or Miracle Whip. Um, broccoli florets. I usually buy fresh broccoli, but I've seen this 50% off. Um, yeah. Two things of Brussels sprouts. I've seen this 50% um, off. It's probably not the greatest for you, but so I paid about 10 bucks for it. I'm going to throw it in the freezer and yeah, it'll be good. And then I got this. I see these packages of meat and stuff at the superstore. I've never, ever, ever bought them before. You can buy chicken breasts and hamburgers and uh, a whole bunch of different things. But I've seen these, and they don't have any carbs in it. And I'm going to try this for when I do my meal prep. Like, we'll get one or two in our meal prep meals, just to try it and see. Um, I was just feeling you know, adventurous to give it a whirl. I don't know what it's going to be like, but we'll try it. And I got a thing of vegetable oil. I don't know if that's good or not, but um, I got it. <laughs> and that's what, that's what we got at the store today. them all together with a box like this. So. Oh yeah. So, I'll show you the DVDs first. I got The Borrowers, part one and two. I've never seen part two, but my oldest daughter, Medea, she used to like Borrowers, part one. It's a really cute movie. It's kind of like, I read the Littles books when I was younger. You know, just little tiny elves. Anyway, Squirrel Wars 1 and 2. And these were all like, I think, 488. But I guess there's a part 2. I didn't know that. So, uh, yeah. It's worth a go. I got, I used to have this on uh, DVD The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Another good book. But it's a really great movie, too, if you haven't seen it. It's really cool. It has some good actors in it, too. Really, I like it. I watch that every once in a while. It's just a random. <clears throat> movie that it's easy to watch you know you don't have to think too much about it and this one I haven't seen in so long and I used to watch it all the time when I was a teenager four dollars and 88 cents Coneheads <laughs> have you guys ever seen Coneheads it's like an old 80s movie or maybe early 90s when does it say here I don't know but anyways probably in the 90s early 90s uh, yeah Coneheads, another good one. Has Dan Aykroyd and uh, um, Chris Farley and uh, oh, what the heck is her name? What the heck is her name? Jane Curtin? That doesn't sound right, but it must be. <laughs> Diane Weiss, I think. Is that her name? Anyways. Yeah, I'll watch those sometime. And this is a huge book that I never thought it was that big. I'll put a link to this in the <clears throat> description box down below of where I got this. I think I paid $27.99 or 20, like around 30 bucks for this book. But 
that book, The Keto Diet. Uh, it says it's regular $46.95 in Canada, $34.95 in the U.S., but that's not what I paid for it. The Keto Diet, and look how thick it is. I didn't think it was going to be that thick. This is a hardcore, full, jam-packed, full book. So that's what I'm going to try, guys. I'm not going to go all ridiculous and say, you have to do this. This is the best way to do this. I don't know. I've never done this before. And I'm going to try to make some recipes out of this. So I'm not making drastic changes. I'm just switching up some different fats that I'm used to eating. Uh, I was watching some videos today, and one of them was like cheeseburger casserole, and what I thought would have been totally unhealthy, like hamburger, cheese, mayonnaise, pickles, you know. And yeah, it's not like you should eat the whole casserole yourself, but I guess it's all the good fat. Bacon, you know. Um, I'm doing this because I just want to try it, and... Um, Apparently, this really lays out what the keto diet is in easy terms, and it has a whole bunch of recipes. So that's what I was more interested in, learning about it, and then having, I guess it has a good grocery list in here of things to get. I, I need things laid out, and like meal plans, a meal plan. That's something that will help me, because uh, I'm used to winging it when I make suppers and stuff for my family. And I try to make them nice big meals, but, you know, we're a meat and potato or pasta or rice, and I'm still going to make those meals, but I'm going to try to incorporate some of this in with my family meals eventually. But right off the bat, like right off jump, I'm going to try to do this for myself and my husband, and uh, we'll go from there. So, yeah, this is the book I've been waiting for. But it's nice to see some uh, some recipes because I honestly didn't know... Didn't know where to start. Didn't know where to start. So that's that's what I got. That's what I got. And I love it. It's humongous. It's humongous in 448 pages. Uh, Leanne Vogel is her name. So yeah, that's it. So we're going to open another box after. But the girls should be home soon. I'm going to take a break. I've been taking breaks all day today, guys, all day. But I got those potatoes, they're over there rinsed in a pot. I just need to turn them on around four o'clock. And I'm gonna take that steak out at four o'clock. And it's not raining out now, so I'll throw it on the barbecue so I won't have to dirty any pans. And uh, I can just get the girls to go down the basement and get a couple jars of vegetables and that supper. So not too bad, not too bad. But I'm gonna enjoy this tonight. I'm really gonna dive into that. I guess you could buy this on audiobook, but I find a book like this hard to listen to an audiobook because I, I'm more of a visual learner when it comes to things like this. Like if I'm listening to a fantasy story or something like that, that's something different. But when it's coming to the real deal things, I need to I need to see it and flip back and mark and fold and all that kind of stuff. So anyways, I'll be back in a little while. That's a nice fair amount of steak. I wiped off most of the marinade, but not all of it. And I'm just gonna, that should be nice and tender because I poked lots of holes in it. And I'm just gonna cook it nice and low on the barbecue. So I'm gonna go start it up, clean it off, and let it warm up. All right, well, I'm gonna try to put this on. I'm gonna put it on the top rack, and I just have it on low. Because it really is only early. It's only like three o'clock. But I'm not even turning the potatoes on now because this can be done and I can still cook the potatoes after. It would be good if I could fit it all up on here, but I don't think I will be able to. Nope. One will have to go down on the bottom. I'll put it right there. There we go. So I'll check it probably every like. I don't want it to smoke and burn. Probably every five minutes or so. Five? Yeah, five minutes, because I once it starts smoking and stuff like that, you need to keep an eye on it. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, it's been five minutes. We'll just give it a flip. This is going to take a while, because it's thick, and I'm doing it slow, but it'll be good.
we go. I think I'll check it every seven minutes. All right, I just flipped it again. It's getting done. I know a couple of these pieces are really thick, so they're going to be on the grill longer. But I'm just going to make sure that these this is down on low again and come back in about five minutes. It hasn't started smoking or anything like that, you know, dripping, catching on fire or anything, so it's all good. And I just turned those potatoes on. Just going to pop the top and we'll have that with our supper. Well, I hit a wall, guys. I'm tired, tired, tired. I just took that meat off the barbecue. My son was so hungry. He's like, Mom, I haven't eaten in two days. I'm like, well, that's not my fault. <laughs> he knows how to cook. But anyways, so he couldn't wait for the potatoes or the vegetables, so he got a slice of bread and some steak. So he might come back for more after, but he's he's gone. That's my teenager. That's teenagers for you, right? They're they're just like babies. They go on their own schedule, but whatever. I still love them. Anyways, I'm just waiting for the potatoes to be done before I heat up the corn and peas because uh, there's no sense in having that all heated up. It'll just cool off because the potatoes have about another 15 minutes. And I just put that plate of steak in the oven um, just so it stays warm. But it's all done. All done. So once those potatoes are done, I'm going to mash them up. I've read most of the introduction of this book. Uh, I don't know what page I'm on. That's her. But I, I've just been uh, looking through it with the different recipes and things. And there's, oh, where is it? Weekly goals and recipes. And it says whether they can be freezer meals. So that's going to be fantastic because that's what I was thinking. I want to find ones that have freezer meals because uh, if I'm going to do this, I need to be stocked up. I had a you know, I had the schedule that I have easy access to. I'm not a chronic eater, but when I'm hungry, I'm hungry and I want to eat. So if I don't have something ready for myself, then I'm going to eat whatever's in sight. So yeah, this is. I think this is going to be a good book. I'll let you guys know though. I'll let you guys know. But I see here. I mean, she has some sort of muffins and looks like desserts. I'm not a big dessert person, but I want to get one of those noodle, like zucchini noodlers. I don't know what they're called, spiralers or something that makes noodles out of vegetables. Um, yeah, we'll see. Just a minute, Bob. The kids have been taken off with their plates. This is mazes. Just a little scoop of potatoes, peas, corn, steak, sauce. I don't want peas. <laughs> well, the, just eat one pea, okay? And we're going to take a meal. <laughs> There's Mally. She made her potatoes like a heart and put sauce all over it. Yeah. They like to use the hickory smoke sauce. If there's no gravy, I, this is my second. Yeah, no, I didn't make gravy. So, yeah. She does love her potatoes. <laughs> Alright guys, well, everybody's had their supper. My husband's home. He's in there eating now. And he has to go back in to do some work. I said I'll do the run now while he's home. That way I won't have to pack anybody else up. So let's get moving. All right, guys. Well, it's quarter to seven. I know my camera looks a mess over there, but that's just real life, guys. So this is a box that came yesterday. Team Beachbody. I don't know if any of you know or if I've mentioned it before. My daughter's. My daughter, Medea, uh, is a new beach body coach. And uh, anyway, she had some Shakeology. So I wanted to try some. And I signed up just to be, you can, you know, just order stuff. Order stuff. Or you can sign up and be a coach, which that's what I did because they were going to send me some free stuff and I get a discount stuff, diff discount on things. And uh, they sent me this box. Anyways, I don't even know what they're putting in here. I know I'm pretty sure there's Shapeology in here, but I don't know what. But she is doing a 21-day um, a challenge starting June 1st. So I signed up for it. My husband signed up for it. I believe two of my sister-in-law signed up for it. 
and maybe some other people signed up for it. But it's June 1st, which works out good for me because, like I talked about earlier, I want to try to get my eating habits a little more healthy. Um, and then June 1st, start doing some sort of an exercise regime. And I'm not going to be one of those jumping up and down cardio, hardcore cardio, jumping jacks or anything like that. I can't do that. I can't. But there's always modifiers, I guess, in these programs. And... Uh, I'm going to see what I can do. I want to try to be the best me I can be. And I'm not trying to sell anything or anything like that. I just, I want to share my journey with you. And again, I'm not becoming a health, a health channel or anything like that. But you guys are my friends, my YouTube family. And I just, I want to be held accountable. You know what I mean? I, I want some encouragement I want you know because I know I'm gonna be up and down and up and down and up and down mentally and physically and all that kind of stuff but you guys will uh, you know will be able to see my successes and, and my failures if you want to see them you don't have to but this is what comes in the box health and happiness prosperity begins here coach welcome book I or I decided to become a coach because well not I say a coach it's not it's officially I'm I'm titled a coach but I'm not going to take that role on I'm not trying to recruit people or anything like that but I'm thinking this Shakeology stuff it can it can be a little pricey sometimes but if you're a coach you get uh, Shakeology at a discounted price you get any programs at a discounted price uh, things like that. So the one time, the one time uh, shop of becoming a coach, they send all of this, and then if you get more Shakeology down the road, you get it at a discounted price. I forget how much I paid for to become this around two hundred dollars or something like that. I I can't recall right off the bat, but anyways, that's what it was. So this is a little welcome book. I don't know. Congratulations, becoming a coach. Yeah, well, I'm not. <laughs> when I think of a coach, I think of all those little skinny minis or those really ripped people that are in these programs. I'm like, that's not me. Maybe someday it'll be me, but it's not me now. <laughs> Anyways, it, it just, I think it, it gives you resources and best values and customer beach body challenges. So, yeah, anyways, my daughter's doing a challenge. And she wants to do it with a 21 day fix. She's done that program. She's done like the extreme program. She's done different programs. And she just had a little Evie six months ago. And she's smaller than she was before she even got pregnant with him way back when. And these are those little containers I see portion control container stickers and snack containers. They're microwavable and dishwasher safe. So there's little smaller containers inside of there. There you can see the different different ones. So I don't know. I'll see if I can put those in. I think with uh, some of the programs on Beachbody, they probably use these. Uh, for me, I'm going to be making meals for my family. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I see a nice big uh, Shakeology tub. I'm going to try Shakeology for the first time tomorrow, guys. So if you're interested... <laughs> and seeing how what I think of it uh, yeah it'll be on tomorrow's video but there's a nice little thing I'll, I'll put it in love this big bag I they have different flavors of Shakeology they have like strawberry and vanilla and chocolate and I got chocolate vegan I wanted to get that because I uh, I didn't know if there was going to be nuts and stuff in, in here um, so I got chocolate vegan just to keep it simple and they they could tell me if there was nuts in this and there wasn't any nuts in this so yeah and I don't know if we're supposed to mix this with water or milk or what we're supposed to do with it so I gotta I gotta read that but this is a nice big heavy it's full I don't know how much is in here it'll say it's full it's probably for a month Shakeology You want a cup for your freezy? Okay. Here, it's a mason jar. There you go. Oh, that's a cup. This one, you can use it as a cup. There's a book in here. Portion fix eating plan. Oh, well, there you go. 
that's a little more up my alley, but I'm still going to try this. Careful, Bob. Uh, I'm going to try this book that I got at Amazon. I'm interested in it. Oh, yeah, there's a list of some moderately challenging programs and extremely challenging programs. Yeah. Interesting. I don't know what, uh, I don't even know how much I weigh right now, but I think what I'm going to do, and I'm not going to share that now, but I'm going to take really before pictures before I start all this, and probably next year this time I'll show you the difference. I'm hoping that there's a big difference, but I'm going to go all out, have a, and like I say, I don't have shame in my body, but I'm not confident in my body, but I love who I am, if that makes any sense. So I want to be proud of who I am, because I'm proud of who I am today. I just want to be a little more fit and toned and whatever. So that's a nice little book. Well, it's only three results. What's this? Three Day Refresh. Do you want to accelerate your weight loss? It must be some sort of something you can order. Refresh. It looks like it must be stuff that you add to food or drinks or something like that. Order now for $15.95. I'll put that on hold right now. I'm just showing you what comes in the box. Get results with your Beach Body Challenge pack. Uh, oh, it, it talks about the websites and things like that. Success stories. Yeah, I'll get more into it, but my daughter is doing fantastic. She She's really doing... I'm so proud of her. Like, she... She's going to college right now. She's raising a little baby, you know, while her bow's out fishing. She's trying to make a go of being a, a coach, and she's doing a great job. And she's actually done the programs, so she sees the results. And she's stronger. She can do push-ups and everything. Like, <laughs> wow. So... I think from here on out, if anybody's interested in doing this challenge with me, with me, I mean with my daughter, but with me, I'm starting at June 1st. There's no pressure. I'm not saying this. I'm just saying no pressure. But if, if you are interested, I'm going to put her information down below because you can sign up through her. I think, you know, if you want to do it, again, no, 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 no pressure. But I just want to put it out there. All of her information from here on out until the end of this challenge I'm always gonna have her stuff in my description box down below because I want to support my baby girl and I'm so proud of her for trying to for trying to do this and I know she's as determined as I am and she'll stick with it and she she's gonna make a good go of it so yeah but yeah I'm interested I was more interested in this trying the Shakeology and being part of uh, being part of like doing a challenge so we can all support one another and track each other's results if we want to share them and, and things like that um, I don't think you have to share your results but I'm gonna share them I'm gonna share them <laughs> but I, I am gonna take the before pictures and have like a little sports bra and some shorts and have my belly hanging out and stuff like that again not now but I, I want to have those pictures in my own back pocket to see where I started from and that's what I'm going to do. But yeah, so if you're interested, check down below. But yeah, if you just want to follow me along, follow me along. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you the real deal if it's working for me or if it's not, you know. Because I think it works. Uh, I think it has to do with if I'm committed. You know? I feel like I'm committed. I feel like I am. I take my time. What's in here? It, it has a bunch of stuff. It has... Risha, Risha, flax, maca root, matake. I'm not sure if I'm saying that. Goji berries. Oh, I can't even say all this stuff. Quinoa, I know that one. Uh, one serving a day, gently. Yeah, one serving a day. Anyways, I just wanted to open this box today <laughs> before it got too late. Misha and, and my uh, teenager just went to Monday school. Uh, he doesn't usually go, but if she was to bring somebody with her tonight, she would get a a treat or some sort of prize or something like that. So he, he offered to go with her. I thought that was really sweet. He's like towering teenager following little Misha around. Funny. What, honey? 
I'll change your bottom. Well, you have to wait a minute. I just changed you. Those are little containers. Come over here and say hi to everybody because we're going to sign off. We had a busy day, didn't we, Mace? Didn't we? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're stinky. Yeah. Anyways, uh, I'm not a salesperson, but I just, I want to give everybody the opportunity if they, you uh, want to take part, take part. If not, that's okay, too. No biggie. But I think I'm going to sign off here because, yeah, I want to get this done. I'm feeling better today. I am. I still, I, I'm not pushing myself because my body, I've, I've had to medicate and I've had to just take it easy. Not me. Uh, not me. But I'll be back tomorrow. Not me. Not tomorrow, me. I think not I'm going to go to town me. Me. at some point. Maze, shush, shush. You go get a diaper ready out on the floor and I'll be right out, okay? I love you. The wipes and the cream and all that stuff, I'll be right out. Come on out. Yeah, I'll be out in a minute. Um, yeah, tomorrow, Tuesday. I'm getting a payday tomorrow. So I have bills and stuff to do. He's making funny faces at me. Get going, Bob. Mally was. Mally was too, yes, I know. Uh, so we'll be doing something around here. Oh, and I guess my sister dropped my apron off at his house yesterday. And I was right in town today. Well, I just went to the superstore. But um, that apron that she fixed, that has Nova Scotia living on it. So I want to get that. And I guess I got mail there. So exciting. Uh, I'll have to get that mail. We'll have to have a tea chat tomorrow, like mail call, teacup chat. So yeah, if you if you want to come back, that'd be great. I'll put the kettle on and we'll sit down and open some mail together. But peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's way okay too. I still love you. I love everybody. Uh, yeah, have a good evening and. I think that's about it. So I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Love ya. Bye.